Identity theft, account hacking and digital espionage are some examples of digital crimes that are becoming more common. And experts say that these new types of crimes call for digital forensics, a new way of tackling the changing security landscape. And for more on this, Dr. Pavel Gladyshev, Director of the Digital Forensics Investigation Research Lab at University College Dublin, joins us here in studio for more on this. Uh, Dr. Gladyshev, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, tell, us, tell us then, I guess, help us understand uh, digital forensics and how is it being used today? Digital forensics is the legal application of computer science. So basically, experts look at the data and try to understand what users have been doing and trying to prove it in court. And so, thank you for summarizing that so, so succinctly. Uh, what kind of role then does it play in police investigations? Presumably it has quite a, a, a lot, it could have a potentially large role. Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely ubiquitous. Uh, in this day and age, pretty much any crime investigation involves uh, investigation of computing devices. Uh, we live in our digital devices in pretty much the same way as we live in our uh, dwellings, in our apartments and houses. And in the very same way, uh, digital devices can be investigated. Mm -hmm. On my computer, there is an area where I work, there is a area where I play, and uh, when I enjoy recreational activities. And uh, because of that, computers can be investigated in much the same way as crime scenes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're all leaving these footprints, you know, everywhere, uh, dig digitally at least. Uh, but what are the challenges that dis digital forensic examiners face in investigations? Well, digital forensics is fascinating on more than one level. For a computer scientist like myself, it poses a lot of hard problems uh, because we are looking at analysis of algorithms. And uh, it's a well-known mathematical problem that analysis of alg algorithms is, is hard. Uh, traditional forensics involves uh, examination and understanding of how physical things work. And the way physical things work doesn't change. In computer, however, once you install a new version of software, the laws of nature, of digital nature, change completely. And we need new methods. The old methods no longer work. But most importantly, I think uh, challenges lie nowadays outside of the computer per se. And there is a couple, at least. One is the obsession of the modern society with privacy. Mm -hmm. uh, on one hand, there is a lot of data being recorded and uh, our devices uh, try to protect our data and it makes investigations much harder and I know for at least one agency uh, that uh, cannot investigate now cases that they used to be able to investigate five years ago. Mm -hmm. That sort of I suppose raises the question of, of ethics and, and you know the right to investigate people's uh, devices when it could help it in a case. Uh, how do you, where do you draw, do you have a, an opinion on that? Do you think anything should be fair game when you're investigating a criminal activity? No, of course there is a matter of proportionality. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a, it's a discussion the society needs to have. Mm -hmm. Look at the modern day kids. Uh, we have Tor that allows criminals run uh, websites in undetectable fashion. Uh, we have Bitcoin which can be used to make uh, Payments, payments mm -hmm. uh, untraceable payments, and then there is mail, which can be used to sell drugs. So all that the modern day kids need to do to buy drugs is to download a piece of software, uh, convert some uh, credit card money into bitcoins, and then wait for the mail to arrive. And the police needs to be able to investigate this. Mm. And uh, I think an agreement, a social contract almost, needs to be reached that a certain level of privacy invasion is, is in order. Mm. So let's uh, get your take on this topic of geolocation as well, because um, it's one of the topics that was discussed at the Interpol conference this time around. Uh, there's some controversy surrounding that, of course, because it sort of touches upon this issue of, of privacy and mm. without you know, infringing privacy, at least. So how can security agencies actually use it without touching upon that? How can they use it effectively? Um, so to begin with, we have a lot of devices recording all sorts of data about us, including our location. I think the most interesting way that seems to be emerging nowadays is the use of artificial intelligence. So in other words, uh, specialists are trying to build systems that don't record the data, but analyze it there and then. And the data never leaves this artificial mind 
until and unless there is a sign that this needs to be further investigated. I think this has some potential. Mm. Mm. Dr. Uh, Gladyshev, thank you very much for coming into the studios uh, during this uh, busy time of yours uh, to shed light on this topic of digital forensics. We've been speaking there to Dr. Pavel Gladyshev. He's director of the Digital Forensics Investigation Research Lab at the University College Dublin.